Well, I mean, it, it was surreal, you know, to see your name go across. And at first, I thought I was going to Philadelphia. <laughs> then I got traded to the Wizards, which is a blessing. And you know, to see it, you don't really realize what that means with your name being called until after the fact when you go through the rest of the process and you see how hard it is for guys that aren't drafted and guys that are drafted and just see the different you know mindsets guys have um, and you just you just appreciate it even more to be in this position um, it was a great feeling to see my mother smiling and crying my father happy and all my family and loved ones are with me watching it excited for me so you know now it's just time for me to go make them proud been playing basketball for years, but do you have any nerves, you know, coming into the professional league? Always nerves, because, uh, you know, like you said, I've been playing for years, and I've been watching these guys for years, so you know what you're going up against, but at the same time, I think it's just a, it comes a point in time where you have to realize that you deserve to be here, and you're here for a reason, no matter who's the best and who's not, you're on the floor with these guys, and that just says a lot in itself, so it's going out and competing, learning from um, some of the guys that I looked up to. And um, but also just going to compete, you know, that's the biggest thing is just competing at a high level. Any um, big expectations for the season going forward? Just winning. Winning more games than they say we won't. That's the biggest thing. That's all it's about. It's just doing what no one says we can. And that's not winning the NBA championship and all of that being unrealistic with the talent that we have, but we have young talent. And it's not saying that we can't develop and uh, build a culture and a foundation that can help us in the long run and, and for years to come. And one last question, as you notice, the Mystics are in the finals. Um, what do you feel that you guys can take from that team and incorporate to your team as a whole? I think the biggest thing that I watch when, when they play is how well they work together. They play team basketball, they share the ball, they know, uh, you know, who's good at what, and they don't play each other in bad situations. You know, they know when it's late clock and Emma's on the block or close to center, you get her the ball. If the lane is open, you get her the ball. And, you know, and everyone plays around that, and they fit in perfectly. And it's just because of how much they care about each other or how much they care about the goal that they're trying to accomplish, and that's the championship. So, you know, just learning from them, I would just say the togetherness and them executing. Their execution is amazing, especially on the defense and then. Uh, as well, so just, just taking those things away and continue to watch them and cheer them on as they go through this process.